Hello coders, welcome to Refresh Coding. So to, we are in this video, we are going to see how to create uh, RDS in AWS. RDS is nothing but your relational database system. So the database which earlier you used to run in your local systems, now we are going to run it on cloud. Means if this database will not be installed in your local machine, but it will run on cloud. So it is known as Amazon RDS. So for this, first uh, you are supposed to go to uh, your Amazon console. You are supposed to log into your Amazon console and you are supposed to go to RDS. It is a managed relational database service for AWS. So it will take some time to load. And once it is loaded, after that you will see here like dashboard, database and all these things. And here there is a new amazing uh, this create database dashboard is there. So I will go for create database option here. And now if you see here. Now we can create a database with a single uh, click also, which is easy create. But uh, right now I'm not going to work with easy create because I want to do standard create because I want to do certain configurations in my database. So here in this create a database wizard, here you can select the database type, whatever database you want to use. Uh, Postgres, SQL, Oracle, MariaDB, uh, Amazon Aurora or MySQL, whatever you want to work with. So right now I am going to work with MySQL uh, because I want a MySQL database. So I will select MySQL here. After this, you will select a MySQL version. So let's say I am working with a version which is MySQL 5.7.30. You can select any version. It, it depends on whatever is your requirement. After this, uh, in these templates, you can select a template for your database. So if you will go for production or development and test, uh, then it is not a free tier eligible. So I want a free tier one because I am doing only for the demonstration purpose. So I will select free tier. After that, uh, here in availability and durability, I will not do anything. In the settings, I will uh, give a name to my database. So let's say this is MyDB. I will give it a name as MyDB or whatever DB name you want to give, you can give here. But you will have to remember this name because this name is required when you will try to connect with this database. After this, uh, in this credential settings, uh, either you can go for an auto-generate password, but every time it will generate a new password and you will have to remember that, like you will have to read that password and connect. So that's why I will not go with this. So I will keep the master username as admin only and I will create a new password for this. So since I have already created one password, so it is showing me that password. So, but right now I will create a new password here. So I will say, I will create a new password. I will confirm the password. And after this instance co configuration, uh, here we will select the database instance con configuration option. So we will go with this, which is db.t3.micro because it is free tier eligible. And after this, in this storage also, we will keep it same general purpose SSD. And here in this allocated storage, it is 20 GIB, which is too much for me right now. So I don't want 20 GIB right now. So I will go with 10 GIB, which is more than enough for me. And after this here, if you see one more option is there, which is storage auto scaling. So automatic it will increase the storage. Okay, if 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 the data is increasing than 10 GB, then it will increase the storage. But right now I don't want that because otherwise you know it will keep 
you know auto scaling it and AWS will charge you for that. So I have not selected that option. After this here one more very very important thing which you have to remember that you will select here a VPC which you have created if you want to work with your VPC. Otherwise by default it will take the default VPC and suppose if you are creating any EC2 instance which is in this custom VPC then you will not be able to work with this particular database with this particular RDS with that EC2 instance if you want to work. So how to create a custom VPC and how to create a EC2 instance inside that custom VPC that you can see in my previous videos. So right now I want to work with this particular VPC. So I will select this and here if you can read it is written already after a database is created you can't change it its VPC. So here you will have to be careful if you want to work with a custom VPC. Now after this uh, here subnet groups are there. So here you see it will not take by default the subnet groups which are there with your VPC because uh, you know no matter what but RDS will take its own subnet group only. So here you will have to create a new subnet you know group. And after this uh, it will take a DB subnet group automatic. So you don't have to you know bother about it right now. After this public access. So if you want to publicly access this RDS then you will have to say yes because I am saying yes because I want to access this RDS from my EC2 instance. So I will say yes here. Now another most important thing security group. If you have an existing security group you can select it from here. So I have already created one my security group so I will select it here. This security group group is assigned with my custom VPC which is demo VPC. So I will take the same security group here. If you want to create a new security group, you can create it from here. After that, uh, in additional configuration uh, right now, I will not do anything. It will take the default port which is available for MySQL which is 3306. You have to remember this port because by using this particular port, you will connect to this RDS. After that database authentication, so we are already using password authentication, so I will keep it password authentication only. And again in additional uh, configuration, if you want to, you know, give a initial database name. See there are two things, one is your database ID and one is your database name. So these are two uh, different things, okay. So let's say here I will give the ID and database name same so that you know it will not confuse me so i will keep i will you know give it my db and then uh, this is what is db parameter group and option group all this i will not change here and one thing is enable automated backups are there okay so if you want to backup your database but since it is my demo database so i do not want to you know backup it so I will remove the backup otherwise it will keep backing it up and AWS will charge me if it will go up then certain GBs so that's why I will not back up now enable encryption uh, enable encryption you can do okay it will encrypt the data so you can keep it monitoring and all if you want you can select audit log also if you want to generate you can select and right now since I am using a IAM role, so already, already these services will be available. After that, all these things I will keep it as it is. If you want to enable delete protection, you can enable it from here so that accidentally your database will not be deleted. So right now I am not enabling it because I want to delete this database later. And then here it is, you know, giving you some information about your monthly cost. So if your automated backup storage or any user initiated DB snapshot is going up than 20 GB, then you will be charged. So that's why I have, you know, disabled that 
uh, automated backup. So that's it. Then I am done. I will create my database. It will take some time. And then after that my database will be up and running. So here if you see now my database which is MyDB is available here. If I will click it here. Okay, there are, you can do any actions uh, on your database from here, like you can, you know, do all these things. But right now, I don't want to do any action. I just want to see my database details. Right now, it is still in the, you know, creating mode. So, you can see the status creating. Once it is created, then your database will be ready to use. And... Uh, all these details are there, your VPC detail, your security group detail, and public accessibility, yes, everything is there, availability zone, on which zone, you know, it is there, everything. So all these details of database is there. So in some time, my database will be ready to use. Right now it is in creating mode. So that's it. Or how to create uh, image in RDS. So now uh, in the upcoming video, uh, we will see how we can use this RDS in our EC2 instance. Okay, thank you.